Upon vanquishing the giant golem, he returned to the hospital to recuperate. He significantly increased in level, which made his body much more attractive. The nurses there began chatting about him among themselves. Wow, his is too much pressure. Don't you think, bro? Who was in shock upon seeing him? The famous S-Rank Hunter interview was ongoing in the meantime. His argument was that anyone could become a skilled hunter like him with a lot of training. When his own sister saw him, she was taken aback by his seduction. He then began to check his status. Next, he made use of the leftover points. It won't do to simply raise his level. He must earn. Then he begins to look at the missions that would enable him to earn more money. He then received a mission and began corresponding with them. This quest is for a C rank. They instructed him to pay, but not to plunder. The plunder would belong to them. His sole duty would be to carry their luggage. Subsequently, a wealthy family's D-level hunter arrived to join. For that, they continued with the job. They went through the large blue gate and were assaulted right away. They were the ones who went for the insect-like creature. They were quickly overpowered, and because they were C rank hunters, it would have been easy for them to eliminate them. This made it clear to him that something was odd. In the meantime, his training as a S-rank hunter stunned everyone. Some advance and discover a large number of mana crystals. Then they notice the dungeon boss standing next to them. They immediately began acting, saying they would need to bring and keep a weapon outside in order to kill the boss. What the hell, they thought to themselves as they left and shut the cave's entrance behind them. What options do they currently have? His level had risen to such an extent that he decided to take on the challenge by himself. That was the explanation of the fifth episode. In order to understand the upcoming episode, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon to get any updates.